Oh my God, my guest is Tenny. I have blows. I'm a fan of Tenny, oh. Like the Future Awards 2018. She performed. I came to the awards, just watched her performance, and I left. Oh, wow. You know? I think that her music is... I think her talent is incredible. There was a year that she was just giving us hits back to back. You know, the end of the year with Uyo Mayo, everybody ran mad. You know? I'm really excited to meet her. And I've, I have not met her face to face before. Just seen her on the stage at the Future Awards. What's your favorite song? Uyo Mayo, without a doubt. But I also like Fajin. I love that Fajin. If I did like the water, carry me go. The queen is coming, the queen is coming, the queen is coming. Hello, Makanaki. Welcome on my set. Great to meet you. Such a pleasure to meet you. This is it. I was in flight with you. This is my claim to fame. Uh, from you were coming for my auntie's birthday party. We're performing in Accra. Oh, yes. she, which she's the owner of this place, actually. Wow. <laughs> you know, I didn't even think of that until you got here. Now, and you got into the airport. You know, and there was mini chaos. You know, there was this daughter, there was this man with his daughter by my side. She's like, I mean, people do that for, but there's people do that for people that didn't know for stars. But there's a particular affection. Mm. People feel for you, almost like they are rooting for you to succeed, mm, mm. and they feel like you are one of their own. Do you mm. do you get that? I sense it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, I just feel like most times people can just tell mm. who's genuine and, and who yes. and who really wants it. And, yes. You know, so I feel like I, I've never been who I'm not. I've, mm. I've always being open mm, so mm. maybe maybe that's why what they're sensing yeah. did you ever think that that being yourself being authentic being open could possibly lead you to this amount of success well that's the only way i knew mm, mm. i'd never known how to be something else mm. i'd never known how to not be telling mm -hmm, mm. i will be unhappy if i'm not myself and your happiness is more important to you than oh yes thing. oh come on why because i what What's inside mm -hmm. has to be pure mm -hmm. for me to function, mm -hmm. for me to actually live, mm -hmm. for me to, to be happy. It's mm -hmm. very important. I'm not sure 2018 or 2019 where it's almost like every day tennis was releasing a hit. Like I would have friends, I, I'm sure I have it on my phone. So when somebody sent me a text message in December, she released another hit. You know, that was when Uyo Mayor came. Yeah. yeah. So you're wrapping up the year with this song. So there's, you've had that kind of a year, but then you had last year where you kind of, it felt like kind of slowed down mm -hmm. a bit. So two questions. One, did you really slow down last year? What was happening there? So I had to record my album. Ah, that's what it is. I just had to, like I'd been flying so much yeah. and this is my first body of work. Like not body of work, but I, I have EP. This is my first album mm -hmm. and it just had to come from not a rushed pace mm, or mm. For, not from a jam-packed pace where I'm just picking songs. Mm -hmm. It had to come from a genuine pace. Mm. Like I'll never have a first album again, you know? So I had to slow down, mm. take my time to record this album. Mm, like mm. I went to Ondo State, you know, I, I, I went to my town. Right. I recorded some songs there. Mm. I was in Lagos, I recorded some songs. So. Mm. Nobody was telling me you have two more weeks. Mm. I wasn't in a rush. Mm. So that's why I just had to, for my own sanity, mm -hmm. I'd been on, yeah. I'd been going so fast and I just needed to calm down to make sure that my first album was done correctly to my own taste. Now it was not just going to ready-made. Mm. It was mm. me tailoring it from scratch. I was making sounds from scratch. Mm. Like I had, me and producers lived in the same house for like, a stretch. Yes. Do you understand? We yeah. were together. We we now got to become friends. Mm. Not just yes. producer comes and we have to work and mm. you have to go. Mm. So 
I had to take that time to record mm. this album. Mm. Mm. And what was that experience like? Beautiful. <laughs> it made me fall back in love with the music. Mm. Not that I fell out of love with it, but... Maybe deeper in love. Like, it, it made me have time for it again, because mm. I was always on the, on the move, mm. shows here. I, was, I, I remember I did 20-something countries in Europe. Mm. I did, mm. like, 17 states in America. I mm. did 11 cities in Canada. I did London, you know, so... Mm. I was I was just on the run. I needed to like calm down to make sure that this album was everything and more. As actually telling a story, my story, but mm. other people's story as well. Right. Let's go back to the moment at which you decided to come back to Nigeria. <laughs> what was that? Wahala. <laughs> Tell me. My parents, my mom was like, What do you want to come and do here? Yeah. You know? And I was just like, Well, I won't be happy if I'm there. Hmm. This was the UK, yeah? Oh, America. America, okay. So, I just always known I was built for something bigger than the ordinary. Mm. You know, I, 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 till, till today, I, I feel like there's always more. Mm. Mm. Like, for example, I dropped a song with David O. Went it's number you, one. Yes, we're going to talk you about that. Yes. Smash. So, yes. you know, I, I just always believe that when Tenny does something that's from Tenny's heart, from Tenny's mind, yes. it always works. Yes. Anytime I second guess. Uh, uh, uh. But when my mind tells me, for example, Kiss, yeah, yeah. I hated that song. I didn't want to drop the song. I didn't like it. But I took what? time. What? I, 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 honestly, I hated <laughs> the song. I told them, I said, I'm not dropping this song. I don't want to drop the song. So I was in America at the time, um, like two weeks before the song dropped. And I played it for my friends. Right. And I played Shekam and Kiss. Right. And they were like, oh, Shekam is the hit. But they were singing Kiss subconsciously. <laughs> mm. Mm. The next day, when he was taking a shower, he was hearing from the living room. Oh, yeah, Kiss, you. <laughs> mm. My mind just said, this might be it. Yeah. So anytime my mind is at rest, Jeez, right. anytime I, I, I've noticed it, every time my mind says, you don't worry, mm -hmm. it always comes out good. Right, right. So you're saying that in this case, when your mind was at rest, that you needed to come back to Nigeria. My mind told me, go. Right. And I just knew I had to go. Go here. Me, well, I, I don't listen. See, if my mind tells me, do it, yeah. I don't care for whatever anybody Nobody else says. has to say. Because yeah. it always works. Right. Did it piss people off when you were younger? Ah. Till now. But it's just, you have to get to the point where you trust your guts. Yeah. Because your guts to me is like your instincts. It's how God speaks to you. Yeah. It's how the Holy Spirit relays message to, to you. you. Yeah. So sometimes when I'm unsure, okay, I'll let, I'll let people decide. Yeah. But when I'm very yes. sure of something, I follow my heart. It never fails me. Never fails me. There's a song called Dad Song. Dad Song. Yeah. D-A-D. -D. Your dad song. Yes, yeah. And it's, it's, it's a song for everyone that's lost somebody. Mm, mm. You, know, you know, dealing with loss is crazy because people will tell you, you get over it, you never get over it. Mm. Like there are some days where you feel down mm. and you don't know why. Mm -hmm. But then you know why. Mm, mm. But you're like, it's been years, why am I not over it yet? You just you just don't get over loss, mm. like, and so I had to just pour my heart. Well, mm. And when I recorded this song, I recorded it in my living room, right. and I was watching my father's funeral. Oh wow! Yeah, so mm. his body mm. in the casket, mm. and my mother's crying. So it was very mm. chaotic, mm. but I needed those emotions to be able to record that, that song sounds. in its true form. Yes. So I didn't just want to say something that I wasn't feeling in the moment. Mm. Everything I sang had to be from a place of truth. Mm. Mm. And so that's why even the video, the my my videographer and photographer, mm. Mm. he has videos of, you know, of that, and that's very vulnerable for me because yeah. that's that's so personal. Yeah. You know, seeing my father's body in the casket mm. and, mm. you know, my mother crying and mm. it's, being creative, but I, I needed that to be able to successfully record the song and to give it the emotions mm. that it, that particular song needed. Mm, mm, mm. So that song, that, that song's one of the A1. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I spoke to your sister 
uh, a few two months, three months ago. Yeah. I mean, we just aired that episode two weeks ago. Okay. And she talked about your dad as well. My father, God bless his soul, yeah. and my mother's, right. God bless them, because after my father um, died, right. the three of them took care of us, and right. God bless them, the mummies. I love you so much. Right, right. And um, I was my dad's favorite. Right. Yeah. <laughs> we all love my dad. Yeah, what is it about him? He we spent just, some time talking about your dad. No, he was just a genius, man. Yeah. Like, I mean, a man that can foresee and plan for his generations to come, yeah. to me, deserves to be idolized. Mm, mm. And and for that reason, I'm always grateful to him because, mm. you know, even after his death, I was still able to go to school in America. I was mm. still able to live a decent life, mm. you know. Mm. And, and so I, I'm just always very grateful yes, for him planning ahead for me, mm. for mm. us. And mm. yeah, it's just, it's just very important. Yeah. Interview people who have come from polygamous homes. Mm -hmm. The dad is not usually the, the dad doesn't usually occupy pride of place. Yeah, in my, in my experience, the mom is because you know, typically the cliche, you know, people are fighting for attention. But what struck me about her, and then you listening, now just listening to, is like somehow or the other, that's not the story here. He mm -hmm. showed up. Yes. He was present. Very. Yeah. And then he, and he said his his family would not be separate. So we all mm, live together. together grew up together yeah. and I feel like it's very important because just that sense of belonging yes. you know knowing that okay my sister's got me no matter how life plays mm. no matter how crazy it gets mm. I can mm. always go to my sister and she'll always have my back mm. Mm. you might not agree on the same of course. ideas and stuff but my sister will always pick me mm. I'll always pick my sister so mm. just because I know some people that not stand their siblings mm. you know but my mm. mine is not the case mm. you know we're not perfect but that love mm. is there and mm. that's the most important i don't want to call the news because it's really the question mm. the thing but it was how whole somebody a popular journalist mm -hmm. done this thing about your weight and it is it is you and those of us that were your fans were angry for you are you confined success to people's weights or people's being skinny have you looked at the fact what you should be concerned about is am i healthy mm -hmm. do you understand and that's why i try to educate nigerians on like just because somebody's fat doesn't mean they're not healthy mm -hmm. you might be skinny are you healthy do you understand yeah. have you checked your blood count have you yeah. checked i always say this all the time yeah when yeah, last yeah. you go to, to the hospital yeah. i get checked like two three times a year right. both in nigeria and in america so. i have good health care so I'm fine. Worry, like, worry about yourself. yourself. Go and get checked. Make sure. And, and I know some people only just worry and say, ah, she's fine. Mm. Hope she's fine. My cholesterol is fine. But My heart is fine. Terrible. Do you understand? Yeah. So, and I know it's from, sometimes from a good place. Right. But also right. make sure, are you checking yourself? Don't say because you're skinny, you're mm. fine. Mm. Mm. Check mm. yourself. Mm. Mm. I mean, this is also something that you have been used to or you have dealt with before. Come on. Being a woman, first of all, yes. and then having the audacity yes. to be in a space yes. where you don't want to be someone else. Yes. You are gracefully walking in your glory, yes. and then people get offended by that. They get offended by it. And I'm just like, I don't have time. Because you see this time frame I have that God has sent me here mm -hmm. to be the best me. Mm -hmm. Instead of me, using me to worry about you mm. i'm building a legacy so my generations can know that ah there was somebody in my generation that did something good i feel i've asked this question another way but i really am curious where, where does the conf where did the confidence come from so i'll say it's two places okay for my mother right but from knowing who my father was mm. 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 I know the bloodline I come from. Mm. I, I know I know the lineage I'm coming from. Mm. I don't come from a lineage of cowards. Like mm. my father single handedly chased arm robbers from a solo. If you if you go to um Okota yeah. and ask who my father was, they'll mm. tell you my father died for the people. Mm. When arm robbers would come around, he would go out and mm. chase them, helped a lot of people, gave people free education. Mm. So coming from 
that kind of legacy, it's only right to be confident. Mm, 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 and then mm. growing up with your, my mom telling me, don't forget the child of who you are mm. and you were born for success and mm. be yourself. Mm. You're perfect the way you are. Be good yeah. to people. Mm. Be respectful to people. You know, I grew up with my parents having a lot of staff. Mm. And I remember one day, my mom stopped the laundry people from doing our laundry. So we had to do our laundry by ourselves. Mm. Obviously, sometimes I'll bribe them and say, eh, Uncle, help me wash my uniform. But this day I had to wash my uniform myself. Mm. So we had a lot of jobs. And if you forget your, your uniform or your clothes at the backyard mm. on the rope, mm. in the night, the dogs will like bite your clothes. So I woke up this morning and I remember that I forgot to pack my clothes yes, yesterday. Mm. So I was, I was running downstairs to the back. And I didn't know my mom was coming behind me, going to work early. Mm. And so the cleaner was cleaning. And so, I, because I, was, I wanted to go and see if my school uniform had been beaten by the dogs. I, I forgot to greet the woman. Mm. My mom was behind me. Ah, wahala. Mm. My mom said, hey, so you are the one paying the sal their salary now that you cannot greet. Mm. Even me that I'm paying salary, I greet them. I said, no. It's not like as if I didn't want to greet you. I was just in a hurry to go get my clothes. Mm -hmm. Do you know what my mom did? My mom told me to take the broom. For two weeks, yeah. I was packing dog shit. I was cleaning the gutter. Yeah. I was sweeping. I was, see, I was the cleaner of the, of the house. Yes. And she didn't care if I got to school late. Yeah. Anything. And if I got to school late, they flogged me. So it's double, double. So, I learned respect and power. Yeah. No matter how powerful you become, yeah. no matter how successful you become, respect and power. Yeah. Yeah. So it was never be confident at the detriment of bringing others down. Yeah. Yeah. It was know who you are, but still respect people. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a difference between you being confident and wanting to just match everybody down yeah. and you just know who you are. Yeah. And still helping others find their confidence yeah, yeah. and believe in themselves. You see, you bring so much joy to so many people. Mm -hmm. Your brand is enjoyment. Same for, you know, enjoyment is the brand amongst other things. You look, you feel, sound, look fearless. Mm -hmm. What are the kinds of things that do make you sad? Or what's the sad? What has been something that has hit you that has just brought you down? And how did you come out of it? Loss. Mm, Listen, loss will beat you to the ground if you let it. Mm, loss will beat you to the ground if you let it. I don't think I, I've... Mm. Mm. It's, it's, it's a very bad place because... You being somebody that can that is in control of almost everything, which means if I need anything, I can snap my fingers and I can get it. Or if anything should break, I can fix it. You know, I'm I'm used to getting my way. And then this person dies and they can't bring it back. There's there's no amount of money, there's no amount of power, there's no amount of connection, there's no amount of fame that can break this person up. Mm. Mm. And so it makes you realize mm. that mm. you're not invisible. Do you understand? Like it, it, it messes your head. It, it, at least I can speak for myself. Mm. It messes. It, 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 it leaves you wondering, like, could I have done anything better? How? What, and that's why now I've learned: do what you're supposed to do for people. Your staff, your mm. friends, mm. people around you, mm. even your gate men, mm. your estate security, the one that comes to meet you, madam, my papa, they, anything mm. you can do, do. Mm. I'm not saying break your back. Because mm -hmm. you can be talking to somebody right now, mm. and the next minute, they're, they're, yeah. they're gone. And then, that thing that you wanted to do when they were alive, you don't have to do it. To maybe donate to their funeral 
Okay, you could have given them and could have enjoyed it mm. in their lifetime. Mm. So I just learned that whatever you want to do for anybody, just do it. Do it. Do it. Because loss is crazy. Like loss will beat you down. But you don't even want to do the things you love. Like I don't think I want to talk about it. It's making me I don't know. Like it's, it's the place that where you come out from. You, you never really come out of this, but when you can even now gain your balance, mm. you thank God and you're like, ah, I don't wish this on my worst enemy. Mm. 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 That's 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 prof that's profound and so true. And and you've obviously you spent some time thinking about this. Oh. This is something you spent some time. Thinking. Like during during I don't know if it was exactly but it was during Corona. Mm. So this guy he. Was my airport guy, yeah. and so every time I'll travel, he would a good guy. Every time I travel, he will be at the airport waiting for me. Because I used to fly, and I've gone to America three times in a week, where the air was there itself on Delta. You are back, <laughs> I'm back. Oh. <laughs> I know I've done Atlanta, so I landed Atlanta in the morning. Yeah. I went for the show. Yeah. And I went. I came back to Nigeria in, in the night, yeah. and then two days later, I had to go back to Atlanta Atlanta's again. Yeah. So I used to fly a lot. Yeah. So this guy, good guy. I'm I'm telling you, all round good guy, very reliable. And every time I need to fly, he's already at the airport. Anytime I land, he's already waiting for me. And so it was locked down, so I couldn't travel. So I hadn't talked to him in a while. So I ordered some things from London, and I. They delivered to Nigeria, mm -hmm. and I didn't want to go and pick it up myself. So I called him. I was like, "Oh, would you help me get my my stuff?" Mm -hmm. And he said, "Okay." I had to pay some money, and I sent the money to him. And we spoke. He spoke to my PA mm -hmm. on Friday. We spoke, and I know I was recording the album. He spoke this. I spoke to this guy. Do you understand? Uh -uh. I woke up on Saturday morning and he told me it passed. Ah, ah. So I was, I was starting to feel like maybe I was mad. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I called, I, I asked my peer, I said, you spoke to, the, you spoke mm -hmm. to him yesterday. I was like, yeah, so nobody knew how bad that hit me and how I had to go through it because this guy was so good to me. Mm -hmm. I I don't I don't think I've 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 um sorry I just have to mm -hmm. I'm sorry I'm sorry I think I've had to talk about it because <sighs> he was so good to me mm -hmm. I mean like not just me even when I have people flying in from my family flying in I'll just call him and say. You know, go help me get them. He would always, always do it. So I spoke to this guy on 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 Friday, and on Saturday I wake up and you're telling me he passed. And there's nobody I can call to say, ah, uh, uh, Kola, go and maybe if if they arrested you now, mm -hmm. I can make some phone calls to say, get this guy. And there's nothing I can do. Like I feel. Powerless, mm, like, mm, mm. like I can't even make a phone. Like, you know, yeah, I can call God. Hello, God. Oh yeah, wake him up, wake him up. This one must not go. But I, I can't do anything. And so, when you feel powerless, when you are used to making things happen and mm. fixing things, and mm. you now realize that come on, you get where. <laughs> Your power no yeah, reach. Yeah, yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. And and so that yeah. broke me down for months. Yeah. Yeah. It hunted me down for months. Yeah. For months. For months. I didn't talk to anyone about it. This yeah. is actually the first time I'm actually speaking yeah. about it. And yeah. it just taught me a lot of lessons. Like check up on people. Be there for people. I love this guy. I can see it. Like my brother. I but I never it. told him, ah, Tunji, 
I love you, nice one. Do you understand? It was just always a uh, guy alpha. Thank you. So when you care about people, when people serve you, when people do good to you, like your 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 your, your chef, your cook, your manager, your staff, if you genuinely love, if you genuinely love them, send them a text. Hey, because you don't even know what they are going through. Hey, I love you, man. Like nice one. You know, so I, I feel like. I don't talk for every Nigeria, but most Nigerians, we know how to hide our emotions. Mm, but yeah. what are you hanging it for? Yes. For what? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Okay. Wow. Okay. 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 I, I held myself very nicely. <laughs> no, I will yeah. not be caught on tape. <laughs> <laughs> that was a powerful moment, guys. That was really powerful. But thank you so much. And I wish you a lot thank you. of success thank you. Thank with you. this thank album you. and with life and with the rest of it. And I look forward to more conversations thank with you. Thank you. Thank you. It's a wrap, guys. I had fun. I had fun. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad. It was really a wonderful episode. I enjoyed watching Tenny talk about her music, the album coming up, Wonderland. I'm really excited about the album, to be honest. And then I think she talked about a lot of things. She talked about her kind, her style of music, her family, her life generally. She talked about so many things. It was really exciting watching her talk. And I think one thing she, one thing that Tenny said that really spoke to me was the humanity I found in her statements. So, so many statements she made today. Um, she talked about um, how people should be seen as people for who they are and it was really interesting to watch.